What's up, church? We're starting a brand new series called Get to Work, and that's exactly what we'll be talking about. We're going to talk about work. Now, what is work? Work can be a lot of things. We can work on relationships. We can work on ourselves. We can work on our jobs or careers. And no matter what we do, some days at work can be harder than others, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. But one thing that I do know and believe is that no matter what we're challenged with and we're going through, with God's help, we can work through and work past anything. So let's get it. Let's get to work. What's up, church? Today, we're going to be talking about working through pain. And we're going to look at the story from Mark, from Mark 25 about the woman with the issue of blood. If you have your Bibles, read along with me. It says, A woman who had a hemorrhage for 12 years and had endured much at the hands of many physicians and had spent all that she had, but was not helped at all, rather had grown worse. And after hearing about Jesus, she came up in the crowd behind him and touched his cloak. For she thought, if I just touch his garments, I will get well. Immediately the flow of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Immediately Jesus perceiving in himself that power proceeding from him had gone forth, he turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my garments? And his disciples said to him, you see the crowd pressing in all around you and you say, who touched me? And he looked around to see the woman who had done this. But the woman, fearing and trembling, aware of what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Now this is such an amazing story. And to provide some historical context, what this woman did in approaching Jesus was incredibly courageous. She risked her life literally. She could have been stoned to death for doing this because the issue she was dealing with in that time and in those laws made her ceremonially unclean. She wasn't allowed to be around large crowds and anybody who touched her would also be seen as unclean. So this woman for 12 years had been dealing with this issue, this pain. For 12 years, she'd been looked at as dirty, as unclean. She'd been treated and spoken to in such a way. And so what she did in approaching Jesus was not only courageous, but amazing. So it says here, it says here that she had been with this issue for 12 years and every time she spent her money, it had only gotten worse. It says after hearing about Jesus, she came up in the crowd. Now we know that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And that's described in this very moment because she hears about Jesus. She hears about Jesus by faith. She decided to press forward. She heard about Jesus. She heard about the word of God. Jesus was in himself, God's word made flesh, and she hears that he's coming. She knows what he can do and she approaches. She pushes through the crowd just to get to him, and it was by faith that she thought, unlike everybody else, if I can just touch him, my dirtiness, my uncleanness can't make him dirty, but I'll rather be healed. And that's exactly what happened. But something else that I find amazing is immediately, Jesus perceiving in himself that the power proceeding from him had gone forth, turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my garments? Now Jesus being fully God and fully man, he must have known who it was that touched him. But this sounded like a test to see if the person that touched him had enough faith to say it was me, Lord. Not only that, this shows me she didn't steal any power from Jesus. She didn't creep up behind him and steal power that he wanted to keep for himself, no. Jesus' healing power is always available to us. He is a willing giver of his healing. What we have to do 
is touch his garments. We need to grab hold of him by faith. And that's exactly what this woman does. It's amazing. He says here, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed. So I ask you, what's the pain that you've been working through? What's the pain that you've been challenged with and having trouble working through? Have you dealt with this for years and years and years like the woman here, or is this something that has come in this new season? Whatever it is, by faith, we can reach out to Jesus, get in his presence, get in prayer, touch him, and he will heal us. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for what you're teaching us through this story of the woman with the issue of blood. Help us too, like her, no matter what the circumstances are, press in and press forward to you. May we not be just like the crowd that's bumping and grazing against you, Lord, but let's be like the woman who intentionally approached you. Help us to intentionally approach you every single day and receive the healing that you freely will give us. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.